Sir, we're getting a message in from outside Appalachia. Hmm, 20 years and not a single message from the outside world. Patch it through to my holographic table that needs resetting because those counters are off. And check the fridge! Do we have any cheese in stock? We're out of cheese. As well as... it's Pittsburgh. Oh, cool, it's Pittsburgh, sweet, but the fact we're out of cheese... Summon the brigade! They're going to Tesco. Yes, kaza uh, everyone, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 build video. Today, I'm building the Brigade HQ, which is a building kind of similar to a firehouse, um, very much inspired by a lot of firehouses, and houses the pilots that will be flying out to the pit. Now, before we get into it, um, the duck in the sink finally has a name, it's Dink, and he's currently not into today's video because he's already in the pit scouting out for these pilots. So, big old salute to Dink. Thank you very much, Dink. You are awesome. And I'm building on a special server today. But another thing before we get into me describing the entirety of the build, don't forget to check up in the top right corner because you'll be able to see previous builds and playlists that just turn up. They'll just pop up and tell you to click on them. So go ahead and click on them if they do. But if you've been following along, uh, just looking at the visuals in the background, you will notice that I have built the lower part of a J the lower part of an S, a reverse S, no, a natural S, the lower part of a normal S, the top half of a 2 turned upside down, and many, 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 many other things that would probably be described in some way, and then put some walls on it. Yeah. Boom. There you go. Done. Nah, I'm kidding. We're not done yet. We've still got a roof to do, and a prefab to try and get to work. Oh, trying to get that prefab to work. Kill me now. But, of course, I wanted to make sure that this worked, so using the temperamental roofs, because they can be a pain in my nicta, um, I decided to throw them down and make sure that they fit. The other reason I'm doing this is because mixing prefabs with constructions of your own does not always go well. So I wanted to make sure that I could at least get the roof on part of a building, and if it then wouldn't work with the prefab, I still had a building that I could work with. Um, but the prefab Thank baby Jesus and other forms of fictitious deities that this stuff actually worked. And I had a hole in the roof, so I thought I'll use my favourite um, set of building walls and stuff. And that, that you got to admit, that greenhouse set is fantastic. Same with this responder set. Absolutely fantastic. Um, but of course, it comes time for the prefab. And this tower is fantabidose. i got to say... You, I've made a video on it, which I don't know, probably on screen right now in the top right corner, about the fact that if you build giant big square floating camps and then put nothing in them, stop doing that, live in a prefab. This would be a prefab to live in because it's fantastic. However, you will be able to see that uh, I'm trying to line this up to the two pillars on the opposite side of the door. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this will allow the bits that stick off the responder walls to clip in nicely to the the actual prefab itself and make it look like it's a seamless transition. And to be honest, I think it kind of worked. Of course, we must now reinstall the roof and thank some form of God that it actually worked. Almighty oh, Thor, Odin, Vishnu, I don't know, I'm not religious. But yeah, as you can see, the roof snapped on and we were left with this tiny little gap that needed filling. So my perfectionist inside of me spent Way, 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 and you know what? I could keep going way, 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 how far away, that far away, way, 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 where's the way, there's the way. I'm not having a breakdown, I'm trying to get to the point where I finally insert the thing in a nice round of thing. Yes, I'm that much of a perfectionist that it took me that long to line something up. And as you can see, it's kind of a nice transition. The um, the walls themselves, they mix nice with the exterior. And on the interior, I have a bit of fun with it as well. But look at that. It looks like it comes off that and it mixes together nicely. I wish we did have those um, alcoves that are actually on the tower, but we don't. And of course, this is not one that I've done earlier. This is me then later on after I've done all the fantastic decorating and stuff like that. I do say so myself. Mwah. I installed a uh, patio out the back with an old build uh, that was from someone on Reddit whose name I can't remember. Uh, of course, the fantastic wraparound de uh, kitchen. I almost said decking them for some reason. And then on the inside, of course, we have our 
base of operations that is also scanning for incoming signals from people who might need the help of the responders now that they have an air force and then second floor we have a little sleeping area for the pilots and then on the roof we've got a nice little area just to come and chill and relax in a hammock while uh, we're waiting for some i don't know we're just a build man but it's fun dabby does it and of course this works and i love the fact that this works look at it go oh fan dabby dozy man absolutely fantastic but there it is i hope you've enjoyed today's build you guys know the drill like and subscribe until the next time stay awesome